Alright, so we've already done this, let's... Whoops, shit. Now, if I remember correctly, well, crap, didn't mean to do that. If I remember correctly... Ryuka... Miss. This is where we want to go. I will, of course, press that in because I am under the assumption that not everyone is at full health, and I've got plenty of money. I've got plenty of money now. If I remember correctly, it is north east of here. The only reason I even know this is that I actually went back and watched my old videos. Rika leveled up. Okay, obviously not in there. Over here? Yes. Now, hopefully this won't be as much of a failure as it was the last time I was in this tower. I will at least hopefully remember to heal people. I'm looking at you, Room. As they need healing. But we'll see. We'll see. By the way, I am probably going to end this video part way through the dungeon. Because if I remember correctly, this is a rather large dungeon. And, well... I don't want to be going through only to have it be a long video. This will be uploaded, I believe, Friday. I am or scheduled to upload Friday. I am recording and uploading it on a Sunday. And I might do a video for Saturday as well. That way I don't have to upload the video on Saturday and I can theoretically have the weekend completely to myself next week. Play the games that I want to play. I'm currently playing Dragon Age Origins. I was originally playing Inquisition, which is a decent game, but Somewhat disappointing from what I can tell. From what I remember Dragon Age being, and I've only played the first game, I will be playing the second after I complete the first game. Um, it's a very, or at least was, an overall very dark, brooding, somewhat sinister game. Inquisition is really not. It's more of a... It reminds me of a happy comic book movie. Think, um... Marvel or what have you. Not that it's really bad, but I'm not a big fan of Marvel movies, but then again, I'm just not a big fan of comic book movies to begin with. Just saying, okay. Defeat this guy and then heal Rune. 
And who leveled up? Ren? Tech, Chaz. You probably didn't need a Nairez, but I figured I'd give it to him. So yeah. It's a bit light more lighthearted, more almost stereotypical. Now don't get me wrong, I can enjoy a stereotypical game or movie. Oh, that's a shield, no one uses shields. Well like I can enjoy a stereotypical game or movie just as much as everyone else. But when the entire franchise is up to that point is not stereotypical. It leads to disappointment. And I know there's a door over there, but I don't want to explore this dungeon thoroughly. Make sure I get all the loot and what have you. Even if I don't use it, I can at least sell- and oh crap! I forgot to sell my loot. I got at the um, cyber or weather network center. Is a place I did last video. Shit. Oh well. I will do that the next time I go into a new town and buy new items and what have you. Is there even a new town to be had here? I mean, I think... ...that I've visited all the planets. I think that I've visited all the towns. And room increased. Okay, lots of level ups. Lots of level ups. What do I get the feeling that's a place I entered from? I might be wrong, but I think it is. Just saying. Oh well. This is still a short video. I'll Play on for a little while longer. Goals. What's the difference between a goal and a zombie? Bearing in mind I have never been one to be into zombies, um... Of all these sort of mythical medieval-like monsters, fantasy monsters to be had. Zombies are... Don't get me wrong, if, it were, if there were a real-life zombie apocalypse, I'd be screwed if for no other reason than a type 1, I'm a type 1 diabetic, but... Of all of these sort of... monsters to be had in medieval fantasy. Zombies are just sort of... eh. Nothing to really truly be that afraid of. I mean their power isn't even in them, their power is in numbers. There's basically so many of them. Zombies are basically easy. And I already got that cracker chest, okay. But zombies are basically, and I forgot the Eureka shit. But zombies are basically the monster equivalent of. Well, ants. 
or a swarm of insects or what have you. Not a big deal on their own. But in great numbers, they can be dangerous. And considering they aren't real, it's just sort of the eh. I don't see the fascination. Come on. And I guess I don't. I really don't see the fascination. And I keep forgetting to heal Rika. If Rika dies this fight and I gotta start over, I'm gonna be pissed. Of course, he's gonna do the ban, so... And I might want to heal Chaz as well. But first... Okay, I guess it's already been done. Um, Rika, do you need a res or a gun? I will give you a... Guy res. And I'll give myself a guy rice as well, just because I can and I want to. Messing up there. Go back over here. In this dungeon. Yeah, this is slowly becoming familiar now. Dark Mirage. Shit. You look powerful. And you obviously have high defense. Fortunately, there is that. I think Rika has, what, two different claws? We have Lacko Claw and... No, no, no. Lacko Claw and... Gino... Gino something claw. What of them does the instant kill? Will that instant kill him? No. Oh, look, you don't have high... Or at least it seems like you don't have high attack, but... I don't know, you look more like a... Uh... Battle wizard or a sorcerer to me than a true physical, deep physical attack kind of guy. So maybe you have some spells you're not using. I don't know. And I've been recording for a little over, is that 12 or 13 minutes now? Might end the video soon. I'll probably explore this area and... Oh, there's two places I can go. Might explore this area and... then decide where I want to go, or at least, um, explores the area and explore one of the other areas to see if that's where I need to go. And then, yeah. So I did start a new job last, well, actually that will be last week. It being last week today, this is recording Sunday. So, definitely be last week by the time this is uploaded. I like it a lot. My other job, you didn't get uh, breaks. You got an hour long lunch instead because it was out in the middle of nowhere and apparently people voted to have the hour-long lunch instead of uh, two breaks in between 
more beginning of shift and lunch and and lunch and end of shift. And as much as I enjoyed the job, as much as I enjoyed the people, it made the day drag on. It was the difference between working, say, a three and a half hour shift for, or three and a half hours straight and then and four hour straight versus or four and a half hours straight and three hours straight because they have different lunches due to COVID. That they want to keep the machines or whatever it is running at the time. And it just means a day drag. This job is, uh, the job I have now is, it's not faster paced, but it's more steady paced, so time seems to fly by faster. And you get a break every two hours. Now you don't get paid for lunch, so you're really working a eight and a half hour day versus an eight hour day, but that was true of the other job as well. You worked uh, eight and a half hours instead of eight, and you only got the hour lunch, there was no break in between. This one, it starts earlier. You start at 6 30, there's a break at 10 30, or a break at 8 30. There's lunch at 10 30. Uh, break at 12.30, and then you're done at 3. And... I swear, like, there's been times where I'll come back from break, feel like I've only worked 15 minutes, and it's already lunchtime, or it's already break time, and it's just sort of a, what the hell happened here? It is a lot more laborious, but it's laborious in a pleasant way. You're not, you're doing, you're always moving, you're picking up, not heavy stuff, but heavier items. I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot better than my other job, and if they ever call me back, I'm just going to say, you know what, fuck you and fuck off. For a while, I lost all respect for the um, boss there. He's, he's a coward who hides behind his intelligence, and well... I no longer have use for him now. This job's a lot better. The people are... Bear in mind I'm not a people person at all and there's a lot more people, but the other job, when I first started out, there was a lot less people, which is what made it all the more enjoyable. Now there's a great number of people and it's just sort of a uh, get me the hell out of here I don't want to do this anymore so yeah oh and best of all this job pays more the job I have now and the previous job I got a ride in was a co-worker and had to pay the get deducted $50 a week for the ride. That's a lot of money for what will basically be $20 a week, 25 tops. This job, there is no money deducted. I get to keep all my money. There is no, well, it's not like taxes and the like, but there is no gas deduction for getting a ride in. All I have to do is pay my bus fare, which works out to half 
of what I was paying before, I basically get to keep most of my most of my money. Even if I were earning the same amount or even less, I'd be keeping more money working this place. So yeah, I intend to stay here. Just saying. So yeah, where do I go? Wait a minute, there's a chest over there. There is a chest over there. Now do I get that in this door or the other door? I legit do not know. I might get it, yeah, it looks like I get it at the other door. D. Elm Lars. Sounds like one of the guys from Metallica. Yeah, I think I get it at the other door. So I will go back to that door, get that chest, and then make it back here and end the video at the latest. I might end it even sooner than that. And for no other reason than this video is getting rather long. Now is this the door I want to go out from or... Yeah, that's the door I wanted to go out from. Or is it? Nope, I'm obviously in a new area. I feel a burp coming on one moment. <coughs> well, okay, that was a pathetic burp, but it did feel... Okay, that made me nervous, but it did make me feel... It did feel good, I must confess, yes. Okay, these guys are tough. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Now that I think of it... Have you... Use that. Well, at least it attacks the one guy. There. Well, well, well. I don't know I'm attacking with the mage, but... I tend to have, I have a tendency to, um... Well save my spells for when I need them, and then come to the realization that I never really truly need them. Which is a bit damning, but oh well. Oh well. And I probably should have healed Chaz. In fact, I might in the next round. Don't you? Higher rise, higher rise, blah, blah, blah. You heal yourself. There. And I might end the video after this fight. Or at least when I get to the door and then it actually, I don't know. Because I do want to um, get that one chest that I missed. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll just end it now. I don't mean to. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and bye.